Hi Air Signs, it is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This um, episode is your B Weekly episode, the spiritual guidance for the time frame from January 10th through January 25th of 2016. I will have uh, my February monthly videos up sometime between the 23rd and the 26th of this month. For those of you that are interested and have been very patient and very kind with me, I will be reinstating personal readings on the 27th of January. My website will be updated with my schedule as well as the PayPal button. Please ensure that you make a payment for your um, reading prior to contacting me via email because it is a lot of maintenance to get an email without a payment. It, it can be very, very taxing sometimes, and I have had, I, I'm blown away by how many um, requests I've gotten for readings uh, since I have been on hiatus. So I dutifully respect, or, um, uh, request that uh, you please pay for your services first, and then we will set you up. My readings are for 30 minutes for $75, and... Um, with that said, you might want to schedule about 40 minutes because there is some preparatory work that needs to happen as well uh, as we uh, commence the readings. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started with the Air Signs B Weeklies for January 10th through the 25th of 2016. Air Signs Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. This is the Sun Sign reading only. That is where my intentions are at. However, if you would like to listen to your moon sign and your rising sign, you are more than welcome to. Um, and just let me know if, uh, if it is your rising sign and it resonates with you. Uh, if it does, then I may change this to sun sign, rising sign, and moon sign. Uh, you know, the universe works in mysterious ways. So let's go ahead and let's get started with Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, what do we have going on for your spiritual advice for January 10th of 2016 to January 25th of 2016? Aquarians, my water bearers, what do we got for spiritual advice? Spiritual advice, spiritual advice. Spiritual advice, Aquarians, spiritual advice. Is this the one? Spiritual advice. What do we have going on for a potential spiritual challenge? Spiritual challenge, spiritual challenge. Here we have the angel messages from Doreen Virtue. So what are the angel messages for Aquarians for this time frame? Here's your angel message. These are the Archangel Guidance uh, cards from Doreen Virtue. So what is your Archangel Guidance for this time frame? Wow, here's your Archangel Guidance. And what is your daily angelic message? These are also from Doreen Virtue. And here is your daily guidance. Okay, Aquarians, let's see what we've got going on here. We are going to start with the overarching Archangel Guidance. Oh, Aquarians, this is beautiful. All is well. This is great. You have nothing to worry about for the next two weeks. You have got divine protection. So if you are undergoing any type, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get the glare off of that. If you are undergoing any type of delay or any type of confusion, please know that all is well in any area of your life. This is really, truly beautiful. So what does Archangel Jeremiah have to say? Everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. So, for example, Aquarians, if something falls through, a project falls through, a desire falls through, something that you wanted to have happen does not happen, please understand that universe is setting you up for something much better. Okay? And who doesn't want that? Okay, so what have we got going on for your daily angel guidance? Energy work. Life can be electrifying because its very essence is energy. 
Your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments. Your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients. Aquarians, this also came up for Capricorn. So some of you may have a Capricorn rising or a Capricorn moon. You work in the healing arts. You may be a physician. You may be a chiropractor. You may be a Reiki master. There might be something that you do with your hands that heals others. Okay, you could be a dentist. You could be um, a surgeon. You could be, um, you know, you could play an instrument because instruments heal others as well. So with this said, Aquarians, embrace the fact that you are a healer and also give your body, give your uh, essence, your energetic signature, healing time, activation time, meditation, chakra clearing. You may want to consider massage, Reiki healing, acupuncture do the energy work to bring yourself back into balance this is really really beautiful Aquarians so what do we have going on for your angel message you have Daniel so Daniel says this Aquarians I am the angel of marriage and I am assisting you right now for some of you that are having problems in your relationship, uh, Daniel is here to allow for healing energy to be experienced by both parties. As it relates to the all is well guidance from the archangels, if you are embarking on a divorce and you are concerned about your loved one or you are concerned about the other party please understand that all is well if you worked or tried again to make the marriage work and it just did not happen please understand that the angels and the archangels are with you to bring you something better and more fulfilling in your life as well as this other person's life okay for others of you that are dating right now, you are being prepared for a marriage through the lessons that you learn every day so that you can take those lessons, learn those lessons, and bring them into your next relationship so that your relationship stays strong and stable. You can help call in your marriage partner through energy work clear yourself of any negative or nefarious energies and you will be able to bring in and call in that soulmate that twin flame all right this is what this is saying for those of you that split up and you are considering getting back together Daniel is here to say that he is helping the both of you heal so that you can move forward stronger than ever. So Daniel appears in arenas of marriage and relationship so that love can be exchanged and you can move forward together or you can move forward separately. This is what Daniel is saying. So Daniel is here to let you know not only that he is watching over all of your relationship, even you know even business partnerships or marriages. He is looking over all of your relationships so that love can be exchanged. So that you can say we did our best. We are moving forward separately or we are moving forward together and all is well and the way to bring this appropriate energy into your life is to heal others heal yourself through energy work and through balancing and centering yourself in your energetic signature in your aura okay so this is really beautiful Aquarians so what is your spiritual advice Aquarians the child 
within. Aquarians, uh, many of you have been so focused on career and on others and on a situation at hand. You have denied your inner child an opportunity to love life, enjoy life, and be, spontane uh, be spontaneous and embrace spontaneity. What the advice is here for you Aquarians, if you feel down, if you feel upset, if you feel like you're blocked, go out and shoot some hoops. Do what you did as a kid. Jump rope. Jump on a trampoline. Go have fun. And when you have fun, here in the next couple weeks, you are going to open up arenas of love, compassion, and kindness for others that you have not experienced in a very long time. So this is really beautiful, Aquarians. Really beautiful. You have an absolutely beautiful reading. So what do we have going on for your potential challenge? Now this is something you may need to steer clear of, or this is something that you may need to acknowledge as a potential challenge as it relates to you moving forward on your own spiritual path. Will. When you have will as a spiritual challenge, uh, Aquarians, this means that your will might be getting in the way of things developing as they should. You can only control yourself, Aquarians. You cannot control others. This was also stated in the Capricorn video as well. So I am definitely sensing that uh, some of you do have either a Capricorn in your life or you have very strong Capricornian traits in your chart or you have a lot of planets in Capricorn in your natal chart. This is a significant month for the Aquarians out there because with the connection to Capricorn, we are in January, which is the month of Capricorn. Please understand and go back to the Archangel guidance that all is well. All is moving forward, even though something may not have turned out the way that you desired it to turn out. You must put your will in check and allow others to walk their spiritual path and support them on their spiritual path while you walk yours. You are in control of your own spiritual path. You are not in control of theirs. Your will and your desire to force your will on others will not help you during the next two weeks. Let them shine in their own way. And when you do that, you will also shine so bright that others will not even be able to walk past you without experiencing your bright light. Okay? Okay, Aquarians, that was a really beautiful reading. I hope you like this. And I will be um, posting the February videos up sometime between the 23rd and the 26th or 25th of January. Again, thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for all of your likes, your shares, and subscribes. I really do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves, Aquarians. Namaste. Hello, my Geminis. How are you? It is B. Welcome to the B Weeklies. This is the spiritual guidance from the uh, January 10th until January 25th. So let's go ahead and let's get started. We have the crystal ally cards that I'm going to be using for um, your spiritual advice and your potential spiritual challenge. So what have we got going on for spiritual advice for Gemmies? Spiritual advice. Here's your spiritual advice. What do we have going on for your spiritual challenge? This is something that you may need to steer clear of. Spiritual challenge. In order for you to embrace the positive energies that are surrounding you in the next couple weeks and negate those energies that may be a little bit negative. So what do we got going on for your angel message? Angel message. Dorian Virtue. Angel message. Messages from the angels. Gemini. Gemini. Here's your angel message, Gemini. 
What do we have going on for your Archangel message? This is directly from the Archangels. So here, is that it? Nope, that's not it. They said, no, 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 keep shuffling. All right, I'll keep shuffling. Archangel message for Gemmies. Archangel message for Gemmies. What have we got, Gems? The twins, the twins. Here you go, Gem. There is your Archangel message. What do we have going on for your angel guidance? I've included an angel guidance card for the daily guidance, but it is for the next two weeks. Here is your guidance card. Okay, so let's see what we've got going on. We are going to start with the archangel guidance. What have we got? Peace. Wow, gems. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hold on. They're coming in thick and fast. All right. Here, here we go. <laughs> Geminis, some of you have been in a situation where you have been gossiping or judging other people. You have been putting information out there that is untrue. You have been trying to seek revenge on others. What archangels are telling you at the present time is you must embrace peace. You must stop doing what it is you are doing to others if you are of the Geminis that are doing this. For other Geminis out there, you are embracing peace. Finally, you are stopping the cycle. You are telling people to stop with the drama. Stop with the gossip. You can't stand it anymore. You want to be surrounded by peace. You have no desire to start any type of challenging environment. You want others to get along. You are ready to speak of peace. Peace is on your mind. You want others to work together. You are looking for a potential win-win situation at work in your family or in your romantic life. So let's go ahead and let's see what peace has to say for you. Archangel Shamuel. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. Only love is real. Gemini. Please remember this throughout the next couple weeks. What do we have for your uh, daily angel guidance for the next couple weeks, Gemini? Go for it! Whoop whoop! <laughs> Gemini, what do we got going on here? Your prayers and positive expectations have been heard and have been answered. We've been working with you on this situation since its genesis, and we continue to watch over you and everyone involved. Stay on your present path as it will take you very far indeed. For the Geminis out there that have been desiring to bring peace in their life and you have been working on bringing peace into your life, it is here. It is around the corner. You will go into meetings. You will have camaraderie. You will have success. You will have ideas, brainstorming. You will have think tanks that are allowing you to create a positive and successful outcome. This is beautiful. This is cooperation within family. This is cooperation in school. This is cooperation with your professor, with your teacher. This is cooperation in any endeavor that you are embarking at the present time. Your angels are with you. Go for it, Gemini. Don't look back. Look forward. It's time. Go, go, go. What do we have as an angel message for the Geminis? Astara. And Astara says this, You deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and do not compromise. Geminis. Please let me know if the Gemini Risings are identifying with this particular message, as well as the sun and the moon, I would really like to know. Because as I'm going through all of this, um, I am sensing now that this may apply to the Gemini Rising and Gemini Moon as well. Okay, So you deserve the best gems, the absolute best. 
it's like I was telling Pisces in the monthly videos uh, for January you deserve the best of the best of the best you are the best you deserve it because you've put the effort you've had the wherewithal to make success happen in your life for those of you that have an idea, for those of you that have had a sign from universe, for those of you that want to reach for the stars, that want to be the best of the best, that want to be on top, that want to be, you know, part of a unified universal goal of success. You are now being tapped to be a leader in this area of your life. It doesn't matter if you're a mother, it doesn't matter if you're a daughter, it doesn't matter if you're a sister, a best friend, whatever. A grandpa, a grandma. Reach for the stars. Do not stop now. Do not hesitate. Do not allow others to bring you down. If you have gossipers that are coming back into your life, tell them there is the door. I do not have time for this. I am bringing peace into my life. I am done with the gossip. I am done listening to the naysayers. I surround myself with positive people. It is time for me to move forward on my spiritual path and I will not let anything stop me because I will achieve my goal. This is beautiful, Gemini. It's very beautiful. So what is your spiritual advice, Gems? evolution gems you are going through the transformation of seeing yourself the way that you were three to four years ago and looking at how you have evolved over a period of two to three years, how you can put your boundaries in place with love, how you can call in a soulmate, how you can call in people into your environment that support you and do not hinder you so that an overall goal can be achieved for the rest of society, for the universe, for mankind. You are seeing things evolve around you. Embrace the evolution. Embrace the change which is happening within you. Allow yourself to be successful. Say to universe, I am okay with being successful. I am okay with owning my own business. I am okay with being a CEO. I am okay with being a director, a manager, being in charge of people. I am okay with it. I am finally okay with being a successful and amazing leader. I am finally okay with taking my rightful place as a leader in this world. Embrace your evolution with love and do not allow anyone to stop you because you have a goal and you are going for it and you will succeed and it will bring you massive inner peace so what do we have going on with your potential challenge something you may need to steer clear of something you may need to be aware of so let's just go ahead and see what this is balance very well Gemini's this is not surprising by the way <laughs> focus Gemini focus okay Gemini's you are um, you are presently being tapped you must understand that you are getting massive downloads from universe this is a massive downloads from universe for Gemini's at the present time there is a lot a lot of activity in Capricorn which is your 11th house a lot of planetary activity okay I'm sorry your 8th house a lot of planetary activity in your 8th house so when this happens Gemini 
All those planets are about to move into your ninth house. That activity is going to prompt spirituality, occult, messages from universe, higher education, higher learning, higher ways of being. When you get all of these ideas, you must sit down and put them into some discernible format so that you can make all of your dreams become a reality. I am sensing for many Geminis out there, you probably have seven or eight ideas right now and you're going, bright shiny thing, bright shiny thing, bright shiny thing. Stop, Geminis. Focus on one, get it going. When it hits pause, focus on the next thing. Get it going. When it hits pause, focus on the next thing. Get it going, okay? This number one was is now off pause. Go back to that one, but focus. Find the balance that you need because balance is gonna be your challenge. You are going to have, because of your ability to make sense out of chaos, you are going to have so many people coming to you and asking you to fix all of their problems. Gemini, it is time for you to focus on yourself. It is time for you to take control of your own ideas. It is time for you to be successful for yourself instead of making others successful. Instead of being the person that works behind the scenes with no credit and makes things run like a well-oiled machine, you are now taking the front, the front line. You are at the podium. People are looking at you. It is time for you to say, here I am, and this is what I can do, and this is what has been born out of my blood, sweat, and tears. Own your brilliance. Own your rightful place in the world, Gemini. You can do this. This does not mean that you cannot help others. This does not mean that you, know, you are not going to be recognized as someone that is an integral part of the success of this overall project, of this overall family um, goal, of this overall student project romantic project whatever it is everything is a project everything is action and reaction for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction what are you manifesting in your life are you doing all the work Gemini balance You give a little, you get a little. You give a little, you get a little. You give a little, you get a little. You give a lot, you get a lot. Find the balance. Don't allow others to put you off to the side and, and they take credit for your hard work. Make sure that your name is on that proposal. Make sure that you do what it is that you need to do to ensure that you are celebrated in this particular area of your life. Whether that is romance, whether that is um, uh, work projects, whether that is a family project, whether that is building a new home, whether that is updating your, your, your renovating your home, whatever it is, find the balance. Take a step back, write things down, and focus. And when you do that, you will be unstoppable, Gemini. Okay, Gems, I hope you like this reading. And um, I will be back with the February monthly reading uh, between the 23rd and the 25th, 26th of January. Thank you so much for all of your likes, your shares, and subscribes, and all of your wonderful support. I wish you the best. Much light, much love, and many blessings to you, Geminis. Namaste.
Hi Librans, it is B. Welcome to your B Weeklies. Let's go ahead and let's get started with the Crystal Ally cards. I'm just giving it a little bit of a turn here to get rid of prior energies. That's what I do. So let's see, what have we got for Librans for your spiritual advice? Librans, spiritual advice, Librans, spiritual advice. Spiritual advice for Librans. Here's your spiritual advice. What is your potential challenge that you're going to be facing for the next couple weeks? Potential challenge. Potential challenge there. Now let's see what's going on for the uh, angel message. Angel message for Librans. Wow, that just wanted to pop out. Angel message. What do we have going on for your Archangel message for Librans? Archangel message for Librans. Archangel message for the beautiful Librans. The beautiful balanced Librans. Angel message. Angel message. Angel message. Angel message. Angel message. Libra. There's your angel message, Libra. What do we have going on for your daily angel guidance? Daily angel guidance, Librans. Daily angel guidance. There's your daily angel guidance. All right, Librans, what do we got going on? We are going to start off with your archangel guidance. Compassion. This is beautiful, Librans. Archangel Zadkiel says, Soften your heart with respect to this situation and all of the people involved, including yourself. Librans, there's something going on in your life right now where you have placed judgment on someone else. And you have been a little bit unyielding in your perception and in your position. At the present time, what it is that you need to do is you need to allow others to have their say and you need to ensure that you are listening to them from a non-judgmental point of view and see things from their perspective. This is in romance, this is in business, and this is in your family life. So please be aware that there is a need for compassion regarding whatever situation it is that you are dealing with at the present time. So what is your daily angel guidance, Librans, for the next couple weeks? Relationship. And relationship says this, Librans. Your primary relationship is with yourself and God. And every other relationship follows from there. To attract, heal, or balance a relationship, then snuggle more closely with your loving creator. As you feel safe and loved within, so shall your other relationships bloom and prosper. This is gorgeous, Librans, and it is in perfect alignment with compassion. Let's see. When you bring compassion into the situation, compassion for yourself, and go back to the Creator and embrace loving, divine connection with the Creator and acknowledge that we are all just doing the best with what we have and how we decide to move forward in our lives with our spiritual path. You will find all of your relationships are going to benefit from this particular type of energetic transference from you to creator and from creator to you. Love yourself. Love creator. Bring compassion back into your life. And what you will see is you will see that you will be able to call people in that benefit you. You benefit them. And the overall goal of success, mutual understanding, kindness, and respect is achieved and what's interesting guys is there was a card that was stuck to this one so you've got two daily angel guidances and I just saw this next one see here's relationship and this one was stuck behind it 
And this says, release and surrender. For some of you Librans out there, there was a situation that had to be let go of. There was a situation that needed surrender. This may have been in a relationship with another. This may have been a relationship at work. This may have been a situation that you had to see and instill compassion in and decide you will no longer support any type of dysfunction in this particular situation. And this is what Release and Surrender says. We shower you with blessings of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands. Open your hands, arms, and heart to our love and assistance. So for some Librans out there, you were holding on to a situation that did not serve you. And now you are embarking on the release and the surrender. And because of this, because of your ability to let go of something that was either dysfunctional or did not serve you or serve the other, you are now able to open your arms to that which will serve you and your highest good. So what is your angel message, Librans? You have Serafina. And Serafina says this, I am the angel of families. A happy change or addition is coming to your family. For some of the Libran women out there, you could be pregnant. Um, you may be hearing about a family member that is pregnant. Um, for those of you that are not going to get pregnant, it could be your children or it could be a close friend that you consider family. This is a happy addition for some of you. It could be that it is a dog or a cat that you are deciding to purchase to be part of your family. For others of you, because you have released and surrendered, because you are getting a better relationship between you and Creator, and you have embraced compassion within the situation and let it go with love, you are now opening up your energy to a soulmate or a twin flame to create a loving, happy family life with that is going to stand the test of time. So what is your spiritual advice, Libra? Action! Whoop, whoop. All right, Libra. Your spiritual advice is action. For those of you that do feel like, you know, you're at a little bit of a loss because of this release and this surrender and that you're not quite sure where it is you need to go in your life, take action. If you are now single, take action. Get out there, date. If you are have no desire to date, go to the gym, take action. Bring your energetic signature, bring your vibration up, bring it up. Trust in yourself, love yourself. Respect yourself. Take care of yourself physically. When you do this, don't allow yourself to get into depression. This is not what you want. Bring your energy up. Bring your elevation. Elevate your, 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 um, your energetic signature. Bring it up. When you do this, everything will fall into place. This is your spiritual advice. Take action. I am definitely seeing for a lot of you you are letting go of an old relationship. For some of you in a loving and happy bond, you are letting go of an argument within a relationship. You are taking action to let the person know how much you care, how much you want them in your life. This is beautiful, Librans. Very beautiful. Either way, if you are now single, if you are in a loving bond, if you are looking for somebody in your life, as it relates to relationships and family life, the angels are supporting you. And the way to enhance all of these positive energies coming through, take action. All right. 
what is your potential spiritual challenge throughout the next couple weeks. This is something you might want to steer clear of or it's something that needs to be acknowledged so that you can better enhance the positive energy surrounding you. Beginnings. Librans. I am definitely getting the message from universe through these cards that many of you have severed a relationship, have severed a tie, and are embarking on new beginnings, but you are very scared of this new beginning. You are very scared. It is a challenge for you. It is a challenge for you to take action, get back out there, start dating again. It is a challenge for you to see compassion within the, within the situation. It is a challenge for you to see whether or not you will find someone that you can start a family with. It is a challenge for you to embrace Creator and say thank you for the lesson of this failed relationship. It is a challenge for you to release and surrender in your life. Surrender the argument. Surrender, you know, that person that let you down, that you let that person down, whatever it is. The challenge is the new beginning. But in order for the most amazing beginning, the first day of the rest of your life to be shown in your life is to take action. So take action, Librans. You can do it. Okay, Librans, there you go. There is your B Weekly reading. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Take care of yourselves. Much light, much love, and many, many blessings to you, my dear Librans. Namaste.